So when you guys uh, first sat down to talk about Cap 3, was it, was it Civil War from the start? Was it going to be Civil War? It wasn't Civil War from the start. It was something that we were discussing. It was in the back of our minds. And we knew that if we were going to come back and do another Cap film, we wanted to do something you know, radical. We wanted to make a very strong choice with the character. Uh, and we were looking for storylines that would allow us to do that. And we just kept coming back to Civil War as the storyline that would, would, would give us the, the, the most juice, storytelling juice, uh, and would challenge Cap as a character uh, more extremely than any, basically any other uh, um, you know, plot that we, we came up with in the exploratory phase. If um, Robert wasn't available, did you have a plan B? Because obviously you kind of need him to do <laughs> Civil War too. but I guess it couldn't be certain if, yeah. if you'd be able to get him. Well, as, you know, as we kept developing, as, as we became more certain that, the, that Civil War was the direction to go, at that point we went to go see Robert with Kevin Feige who runs Marvel, and we just talked to him about it. We said, here, we told him what we were thinking, what kind of story we were thinking of, why it was important to it, and we went through a pro lengthy process with, uh, with him of just sort of like um, dis discussing the movie and exploring it, and he, he bought into it in a big way, and he was very excited to do it, so it worked out. We did put ourselves in the position, both with Robert and with Spider-Man, where we were, we were hanging out there quite a bit. Yeah. You know, we committed, uh, on a storytelling level to both characters, and we just, you know, willed, willed, it, willed the, those into existence. How far into the process did you know that Spider-Man would be available to you? Very late, frankly. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, we were working with him in the script uh, for a long time before we knew the deal would close, and there were a lot of moments where the deal wasn't going to close. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was very tenuous, but, you know, as storytellers, you have to commit to a story. The movie takes an incredible amount of time and energy to prepare for. Uh, and you can't prepare for two different movies. So we made the choice again to prepare for a film with Spider-Man in it and keep our fingers crossed. And, you know, we're, we're eternally grateful to Kevin Feige and uh, Sony for, for collaborating and pulling it off. We were told for a long time, uh, you know, you guys better have a plan B because this might not work out on a deal level. We're like, okay, yeah, don't worry about it. We've got a plan B. And the truth was we never had a plan B. So we were very lucky, yeah. You guys have, a, have established a very sort of gritty, down-to-earth, very realistic style of shooting on, on the two Cap movies. Um, when you take things into uh, maybe a wider direction for Infinity War, are you going to change up the style? Does that necess necessitate changing the yeah, style? Yeah, the style yeah. services the storytelling. That, that energy, that handheld camera uh, um, was, a, was a aesthetic choice because Cap is a very human character, and we wanted to humanize him even more. We wanted to take away sort of any kind of patina. Uh, and so we wanted a gritty, you know, Michael Mann-esque quality, or, you know, we often refer to the Scott brothers with longer lenses and, you know, uh, a shooting off angle. It, it, it creates a, a sense of verite or a feeling that you're actually there and you're present for the storytelling. Infinity War will have different requirements. It will certainly incorporate uh, the, the gritty and, and, and grounded elements, but it has a huge fantastical cosmic element as well. The key thing I think that will bind all the films together, because we really do want to think of Winter Soldier, Civil War, and the Infinity Wars as, you know, one giant uh, story arc. Uh, the thing that will bind it together, I think, is the uh, just a commitment to psychological realism. Ultimately, you know, if we can find a way to execute some of those cosmic characters with, uh, you know, a, 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 a an, an element that you can identify with on a psychological level, uh, and that that's going to be the most important thing to us.